Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about using pad to play uh, Marvel 2. Uh, I'm a new player, I started using pad because I'm used to it, uh, but I noticed uh, there isn't really many resources, uh, if any at all, about using pad on MVC2, so I just figured I'd make this quick video, and if there's any experienced players uh, that want to give more tips and stuff, uh, please do so in the comments. Okay, so to get started, this game uh, out of any game I've played before, including old games, is definitely the game where the whole thing where people say this game is meant for stick, uh, that definitely applies to this game more than any other game I've played. Street Fighter, Tekken, Guilty Gear, you know, all those old games, they can be played on pad pretty easily. This game you can feel that it was made for stick. Uh, what I mean by that is that there are a couple mechanics in the game that aren't uh, super common in most games that are a little funky to do on pad. Uh, so the first one, this one isn't as important, but this game has mashing. Uh, if you've ever played or if you've ever uh, hopped into Justin Wong's stream and you see him do a super and then you hear him on his controller getting mashing his stick, uh, he's doing that because some supers require you to mash in order to get more hits. So for example, uh, Cyclops, the super without mashing at all does 12 hits. If I mash, Let's see, we get 14. I think the highest I've gotten is 15. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, 15. Uh, I don't know if you can get higher than that. I'm not going to try, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, so the mashing, that one you can definitely get used to. If you're a Smash player, uh, you're already used to mashing on pad. Uh, if you're a more traditional fighting game player, though, this might be a little hard. Techniques I like to use is I like to kind of rub, rub my thumb over all the buttons like this. That's one method to do. Like that, I kind of hold the stick, hold it down, and then I just against my knee, I kind of go ham on it. Uh, the other way is to uh, kind of use all your fingers. You can you can use all your fingers like this. So let's see. Oh wow, I got 18 there. Nice. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's another way to do it. Just fucking mash your entire hand over the buttons like that. Okay, so that's the first thing. That one's not too bad. Uh, you can definitely get used to that on pad. The more important thing though is this game has a lot of double button inputs. Uh, now that isn't super uncommon in new games, like a lot of new games have like double button macro, uh, double button to dash, uh, and all that. This game though has it for supers, it's for dashing, it's for, it's for supers, it's for dashing, it's for tagging. And that plus the lack of buffer, as far as I can tell this game is kind of like Smash Melee. In other old games where is either like a like a really small buffer like a couple frames or there's no buffer at all I'm not 100% sure but that makes it so doing double frame double things uh, double inputs like this can be a little inconsistent feeling if you're not practiced uh, the double kicks and double punches aren't too bad because you just kind of put your thumb in the middle here that's what I do put your thumb in the middle and do it that way that's not too bad uh, but it can be a little inconsistent and the one that's a real kicker is there are some characters in the game, most notably Iron Man, that have this really weird light kick, heavy punch input. Uh, so for that, that's for the smart bomb. Uh, that is going to be really weird to use on pad if you're using kind of the standard way of holding it. Uh, if you don't want to use any of the shortcut stuff that I'm getting into, I'd probably recommend you try to play like this. Uh, the player Thrilla, uh, MVC player named Thrilla, he plays on pad, he plays like this. Kind of like an arcade stick. Uh, you use your two fingers like this and you do everything uh, this way. So this way definitely works uh, if you're willing to learn that way. But if you're like me and just like willing to control the stand way, there's a couple things we can do within the Capcom uh, Fighting Collection edition of MVC2. So go into settings, go to control settings, and this is where the magic happens. You definitely 100% want to use and abuse the shortcuts that they give you. So by default in ranked mode, uh, they do not allow you to use one button specials, which is fine because we can actually set the triggers to double kick and double punch. So let's let me do the supers really easily like this. Right, so I just use the trigger here. That is much more consistent uh, for me personally than trying to do this thing where I put my thumb in the middle of the two buttons like this. Yeah. Same with the kicks. 
Same thing. So that's that. And also, in this game, double punch is your dash macro. Like that. And, uh, yeah, it's way easier to dash uh, with the trigger than it is with the this double double punch input um, pad. So, that's that. That's the, that's the main thing. If you're a super duper casual player, however, uh, you're not super into fighting games, uh, you're not planning on playing ranked, you're not playing golden tournaments, you just want to play with your friends, maybe play some casual matches, your favorite character is Iron Man, uh, but you have a hard time doing some inputs, then I would 100% uh, recommend you go to your controller settings and you set a button that uh, probably triggers to, let me just set this default, uh, to the special and uh, EX move uh, shortcuts. Uh, not X move, sorry, uh, hyper combo, which is your supers. So these give you one button specials and one button supers. So for example, whoops. So for example, my left trigger is set to special moves, so I can do Iron Man special moves with one button, and my trigger is set to the supers. The way to know what uh, moves you're doing is you go to your move list and you see on the right side of the screen there where it says SP and EX. So SP means special move. So if you just see the SP by itself, that just means you just do neutral SP. So no direction SP is Unibeam. Uh, right or back SP is Repulsor Blast. And then the big one for Iron Man specifically uh, smart Bomb is down SP. So that is much, much easier, much nicer than doing this abomination of an input here. Okay. So that's cool. And same thing for supers. Iron Man only has one super, so uh, it's just the EX button by itself. But if you're playing a character like Jill that has multiple supers, then you'll see she's got one that's just neutral super. She's got one that is... A back super, and she's got a forward super. If you're a casual player, uh, I 100% recommend you do this. This will make this game so much easier for you. Uh, this isn't allowed in ranked mode because they disable run button uh, specials and supers in ranked mode, but once again, if you're playing with your friends, then I don't really see an issue. Uh, I'd rather you have fun with the game rather than get frustrated and stop playing because this game is sick. This game is really cool. So that's that. Uh, when it comes to other kind of input things like you know half circles and all that, that's just kind of that's not MVC2 specific. So if you're having trouble with that, I recommend you just kind of look up a guide on using pad and fighting games in general, and you'll probably find some tips on using the D-pad with stuff. So all right, that's it. Thanks for watching.